This morning, I've seen cameras swarming George Santos, asking him questions, trying to ask him questions about all his lies. And that's a good thing. He needs to be held accountable for those lies. He clearly got elected on a fraud and should be seated. Um, so we should cover that. At the same time, here's the problem. There aren't cameras surrounding Jim Jordan and all of the other members, Brad Wenstrup, and all the other members of the Ohio delegation who were literally elected on a map that violates the Ohio Constitution, not because I say that, but because the Ohio Supreme Court bipartisan said that. There won't be tough questions of that. And each of those members, I believe, should be asked the question today, what do you say back to Ohioans that you were elected on a map that's not constitutional? And the fact that we swarm George Santos, but do not swarm these members of Congress in Ohio that were elected on legal maps, is a great example of how we don't see the big picture of the attack on democracy. We like to focus on the personal. We like to focus on the Santos personal lives, and we need to. We like to focus on everything crazy Donald Trump says or Marjorie Taylor Greene. But what we don't do is we don't focus nearly enough on the institutional attack on democracy that's happening through things like illegal gerrymandering in states like Ohio and other states. And, and that turns out to be a huge problem. Because A, that's where more of the damage is being done. We have multiple members of Congress elected on illegal maps. As much as George Santos is a problem, he's one. Number two, when you don't ask these questions on days like today, you normalize the illegal behavior. You make it, it all settles in. And so it happens again and again. Every member should be asked that question. And their answer to the question of what do they say about being elected on illegal maps will tell us all everything about what they believe about the rule of law. Because they, if they dismiss the court ruling that held that map unconstitutional, they're basically saying they don't believe in the rule of law. By the way, there's also an institutional question to ask of Santos, beyond all the personal lies. What's that question? Who paid for it all? Because that may also be part of a broader institutional attack of democracy. We've got to get smarter about focusing on the bigger picture institutional construct of democracy and how it's being attacked, and not only think about the personal aspects of politics.